Ed, firstly, congratulations on such a well-presented machine shop. It's very clean and tidy. Yeah, um, it should be because uh, we spend a lot of time cleaning it and making sure that what we produce is also clean, tidy, nice work. We'll come on to that in a second, but the machines themselves that you have here, Herco machine tools, you've got four of them. Uh, just give me a very quick overview of the models that you've got. Yeah, we've got the VMX 42i, which has got a three and a two with a five axis. TMM10i, lathe with live tooling, and we have a normal three axis mill and a normal lathe down the other end. So it's a good spread of machines. Yeah. On, on the five axis, Interestingly, you've got a two-axis table, like you said, with a, with a three-axis machine. Why did you go for that model rather than a full five-axis integrated machine tool? It's so that we can put components on there with using a vice as well as the five-axis, so we can basically machine a job from start to finish without having to go to another machine to do a second opping. And what about the, uh, the control side of this machine or your, your programming as the programming aspect? Um, most of it can be done at the machine, unless you want to do some 3D, which could be done at a CAD, but a majority of it can be programmed on the machine with a DXF. Because I know you're, you're a big fan of the Herco machines, obviously we see here. Yep. The control itself was a big factor in that, because you can in interrogate programs as well, can't you? Yeah, I mean, you can take one program, cut and paste, you can do absolutely what you like with it. What about the uh, probing? That's another, another, another point to uh, mention. Yeah, tool probing gives you accuracy when you set up tools and uh, very quick to use. All right, and let's have a look at this part that you've got here, Ed. Yep. This part here, what we manufactured, uh, first op was done in the vise, with the second op being on the five axis. So you could actually machine the whole job in the machine as one complete part. Impressive. Now, what results did you get? On the bores, basically, the bore mic, we use our digital. From the first one to the last one, the dial didn't even move. That's how accurate. <laughs> OK, and, and a lot of that, well, that is the machine tool itself, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, on there, you can set a tool up, make sure it cuts lovely, and it will just go and go and go. And let's finish here on the turning side. You've got the mill drill machine. How does that help? Uh, the mill drill machine, basically milling, turning, everything you want to do without having to worry about putting it onto a, onto a second mill to do any other milling on it. You're obviously a very happy Herco user, and I'm sure with the space you've got in this machine shop, one day there could be a few more too. Yeah, they can be. Um, we're having next door converted, so yes, we might have another few more. Okay, well, I'm going to let you crack on because I know we're going to see the machines in action. So thanks for your time. Thank you very much.